welcome to Kempo University. My name is Al Babinick, and I am your construction worker today. Somebody asked me, I guess I had one of my bats hanging on the wall in back in one of the videos, and they were asking me about them, how to make them and stuff like that. So here you go. You go out, you buy the uh, foam pool noodles. So this is just a pool noodle. That's all it is. I cut it down to size. You could cut it to whatever size you want. Uh, usually somewhere around 18 to 24 inches is pretty good for it. All right. Then you get half inch PVC pipe. Now, if you notice, it's got printing on it. To me, the easiest thing is just take a very light sandpaper and just sand it off because it's only one line usually. Sometimes it's on both sides, but sand that off really quick. The other thing that you can do is if you have a uh, PVC cleaner, now this happens to be purple primer, so I wouldn't use this, but if you had a cleaner, you could just use the cleaner and wipe it down on this and then just wipe it right off. I think it's messier, but you could do it that way if you want to. But you need cleaner, PVC cleaner, and you need the uh, uh, cement. So I like the medium gray because it's a little bit better. All right, so you need one of each of these. And if you don't have a PVC cutter, use a hacksaw. Usually I cut these about 12 inches, about that far. So the handle is sticking out about six inches or so. And then it's, it goes to about right about here inside. So it's about a foot, okay? So it doesn't go all the way through the bat. And if you don't have a PVC cutter, go get one, okay? I'll put a picture up so that you can see what it looks like and those will make your life very, very easy. Now, you don't have to make great cuts. You could just cut this with a hacksaw or whatever if you want to at uh, 12 inches. Cut this at 12 inches, make sure this is off. Put the cleaner on, just the part that's gonna go in. So I try not to mess up this area over here. So I clean this off and then I put the cement on and I only put it up to about here and then you just push it right in like that. And then the cement is gonna hold it in and they, they really don't break. What happens is the foam's gonna break before this breaks. And this is half inch PVC and then what I do is I buy an end cap it's because I don't, want, I don't wanna catch myself or anybody else with a sharp end. So I get an end cap and put it on there. That's pretty much it. So, oh, with the end cap, you would just clean the end of the pipe again I put the uh, cement in the cap, and then you just push the cap on, twist it, you're done. So usually, this stuff's super cheap. You could usually get a big long bat that you could get either two or three uh, out of for usually a dollar at like the dollar store or something like that. PVC is a couple dollars for 10 feet. Now, just remember, you can, if you buy that PVC cutter, you can cut it right in the store. And that way you don't have to try to fit a 10 foot piece of something or other in your car or truck or whatever you have. So I would get that PVC cutter if you're ever gonna, if you're gonna do a lot of cutting, okay? It's very worth it. And then you need cleaner and you need a cement for the PVC and that's it. You gotta buy your end caps and they're half inch interior diameter end caps, okay? And that's, what, that's how I make my bats. Now, what I did to hold them up, I also, have a holder that we made. Now this is just one by four uh, wood, nothing fancy, all right? And, cause we'll just sand down the edges. So just any old one by four wood, it doesn't make a difference. And we countersink the back. This is six and three quarter inches across here. I'll have the uh, specs for you. I'll have a picture of this in the specs. So, but this is six and three quarter inches here. And then you just countersink because it'll stick out on the wall if you don't. Countersink a couple of holes here, countersink a couple of holes here and here so that you could drill into the wall and you could use drywall anchors or just, I just drew it, screw it in with drywall screws. And then I made the front where again, six and three quarters this way, it's not quite four inches because it's a one by four. This is one inch over here. This is a one inch opening so that when this goes on, the half inch pipe fits in fine but it'll just hang right off my opening as you go in. And this is one and a quarter inches deep, okay? One of the things that you can do if you're, if you're trying to build this, go get one of those uh, spade bits that's 
one inch, a one inch spade bit, and just drill the spade bit hole first, so you'll have this hole first, and then get hacksaw, uh, reciprocating saw, whatever you want to use, and then just, then just go up, boom, perfect hole every time. Okay, so this is just one inch from each side, one inch uh, spade bit, or you could make this square, I guess, if you wanted to, and then this is about an inch and a quarter in, okay? And then you just screw it right into the wall, put these up there, whenever you need to hit the kids, pull it out. I'm, you don't really hit the, well, you could hit the kids, but uh, in a nice way, right? But if you want to make them duck, jump, jump to the side, get out of the way of things, it's a lot, they're a lot of fun to play with, all right? But that's what's on the back of my wall if you ever happen to see one. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.